Welcome to our discussion on the challenges faced by Beyonce's fashion line Ivy Park. As reported by the Wall Street Journal, Beyonce's partnership with Adidas has resulted in weak sales for the Ivy Park clothing brand, leading to a staggering $200 million shortfall in the company's annual projections. In 2022, Ivy Park sales dropped by more than 50%, reaching just $40 million, falling short of Adidas' initial projections of $250 million in sales. Today, we'll delve into the various factors behind this commercial flip failure and explore the potential reasons why this once promising collaboration has struggled to take off. In 2016, Beyonce made a splash in the fashion world by introducing Ivy Park, her athletic-inspired clothing line, in collaboration with British retail tycoon Philip Green. The collection boasted a range of trendy and affordable pieces, from running shorts and tank tops to stylish hoodies and backpacks priced between $35 to $60. In 2018, Beyonce took full ownership of Ivy Park, providing her unwavering dedication to the brand. But the biggest plot twist came the following year when Adidas announced its groundbreaking partnership with the iconic music superstar. This collaboration was tooted as a match made in heaven, with both brands set to conquer the world of women's fashion. Adidas was eager to replicate the incredible success of Kanye West's sneaker line and saw Beyonce's massive influence as the key to unlocking this lucrative market. It was a match made in fashion heaven, or so it seemed. One of the main factors contributing to the underwhelming performance of Beyonce's Ivy Park clothing line is the fact that the multi-talented superstar herself doesn't actually wear her own brand. Despite her commitment to the line's success and her significant financial investment in it, the garments simply don't align with her personal style and brand aesthetic. As a result, Beyonce has struggled to effectively market her own products and create a cohesive product experience that resonates with consumers. Marketing is all about perception, and Beyonce's brand image is synonymous with luxury and glamour. The disconnect between this image and the more casual at leisure style of Ivy Park has left many consumers scratching their heads. It's clear that Beyonce hasn't quite figured out how to package herself and her brand in a way that is consistent and compelling across all product lines. As a result, Each new Ivy Park collection feels disconnected from the broader Beyonce brand experience. Despite the company's significant investment in marketing and advertising, the products simply don't carry the same weight as other celebrity fashion lines. In short, Ivy Park is failing to sell because the perception of Beyonce as a fashion icon doesn't align with the current product offerings. Although its ambitious inclusivity efforts, Ivy Park is struggling to resonate with consumers, unlike Kanye West's Yeezy products. Despite the brand's diverse range of sizing and gender-neutral styles, the Ivy Park collections have failed to gain traction. Sales reports show that many of the brand's products have gone unsold. With roughly half of the merchandise from five out of the last six Ivy Park releases remaining unsold, the brand's flashy neon-colored sweatsuits and sneakers, as well as its dresses and accessories, have failed to generate consumer excitement. According to insiders, there has been a constant power struggle between Adidas and Beyonce's team over how to market Ivy Park. While Beyonce has been keen on maintaining creative control over the brand, Adidas has been pushing for more of its own branding to be included. Unfortunately, the disagreement has only added fuel to the fire of the fashion line's already declining sales. In 2022, Ivy Park sales were expected to reach a disappointing $40 million, a significant drop from the $93 million generated in 2021. For 2023, projections show that Ivy Park sales are expected to reach $65 million, still a far cry from the initial target set by Adidas of 
$335 million. The struggling sales have put Adidas in a tight spot, with the company on track to lose at least $10 million on the partnership in 2022, while Beyonce's annual compensation remains at a staggering $20 million. As we've seen, the decline of Avi Park's commercial success is nothing short of significant. It has caused Adidas to suffer a massive loss of roughly $200 million. And as a result, executives had had discussions on either ending or reconfiguring their partnership with Beyonce. While the brand's inclusive sizing and gender neutral styles are commendable, it seems that Ivy Park's inconsistency with Beyonce's personal style and disagreements between Adidas and her team over branding have played a role in the brand's lackluster sales. As we approach the end of the contract between Beyonce and Adidas in 2023, it remains uncertain whether the partnership will be revitalized or if Beyonce will seek new opportunities in the fashion industry. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.